I compared over 40 robot vacuums to arrive at my 2023 recommendations. This video will focus on robot vacuums that give more control over cleaning through the app and hence the price point will be above 15,000. I've linked to the best budget robot vacuums under 15,000 in the description. Let's start. The first key capability to consider is the suction power. The listed suction power is the maximum suction power that is used by robot vacuums at the highest speed. In general, the running normal suction power will only be about 50 to 75%. For example, when a 3000 PA suction power is listed, the normal suction will be around 1500 PA and the highest suction power is used for areas like carpets or when you want deep cleaning of specific areas of your whole house. I've used robot vacuums between 800 PA and almost 3000 PA suction. The cleaning efficiency after 2000 PA is more or less the same. So I recommend a minimum of 2000 PA suction power. So with that background, I won't recommend the Eureka Forbes LVAC. The next thing to consider is the battery capacity and runtime. While many newer models are coming with higher capacity up to 5200 mAh battery, which are generally more expensive, for a majority of Indian homes up to 2000 to 2500 square feet, a 3200 mAh capacity with a runtime of about 2 hours is sufficient, as it is enough to clean the whole house. For larger homes, definitely consider the ones with a higher battery capacity. All the robots I'm showing today, even if the battery runs out during the cleaning process, it will go back to the dock, recharge and resume wherever it has paused. So not much of an issue except for time of course, as it will take a few hours to recharge and resume. Amongst the models compared, iRobot models give the lowest runtime as they have the smallest battery capacity of around 1800 mAh while the newer models of Xiaomi, Realme and Ecovax give the highest runtime of between 200 to 300 minutes. But like I said, not always required to have a higher capacity due to the capability of the robot to recharge and resume. Next, let's talk about the cleaning options available. All the robot vacuum cleaners compared have vacuuming and sweeping. All the models include mopping as well, except for the iRobot models iRobot has a separate mopping robot called Brava. I've always highlighted this before. In my experience of combo robot vacuums that do both sweeping and mopping, the mopping in robot vacuums is just okay. These robot vacuums have a bin within them that collects the dust. Larger the bin size, less frequently you have to clean it. In general, you may need to clean the bin every two to three days, if not every day in areas with, with high dust. Amongst the models compared, Realme and Xiaomi models have the largest bin size. At the bottom of the table, you will also see models that have a cleaning dock. Now, if you've used a robot vacuum or any vacuum in general, cleaning the bin can be fairly cumbersome. So if you have the budget for it, I would highly recommend to go for a robot vacuum that has a cleaning dock. In the cleaning dock, what it does is it collects all the dust in a disposable bag which typically needs to be replaced every 30 to 60 days, depending on the size of the bag and the amount of dust in your area. Now let's talk about the navigation aspects of robots. Generally, you will see terms like camera-based navigation, gyroscopic navigation, LIDAR navigation or LDS, SLAM, VSLAM and so on. The main thing you need to know is that the LIDAR navigation is the best type of precision navigation followed by the camera-based. In general, LIDAR and camera-based navigation are used in SLAM and VSLAM technologies. LIDAR-based robot vacuums can also be used to clean in the dark, while camera-based ones do need some amount of light. Newer models that are being released this year at CES, which is not yet available in India, are using the best of both worlds, laser for better precision in navigation and camera for finding small obstructions like toys, wires and pet poop. Gyroscopic navigation is generally used in the lower cost models. So amongst the models that we've compared today, as you can see on the screen, except the iRobot models and the ED models compared, all others used a laser-based navigation, which is the best in terms of precision in navigation. Now let's talk about some of the smart capabilities of these robot vacuums. All robot vacuums except the Eureka Forbes LVAC have an integration with Alexa and Google Home. All robot vacuums compared can create a map of the house, can selectively clean specific rooms or specific areas, 
You can set no go zones for vacuuming in the app itself. Almost all of them can create multi floor maps, but you will need to move the dock every time you change the floors or get a dock for each floor. Since these robot vacuum cleaners have a map, they can recharge and resume when they're running out of battery. One new capability that's coming up in robot vacuums is creating no mop zones, which is useful if you have carpets in your house. Ecovacs, Prosenic, Realme and 360 offer that capability. Others do not. So keep this in consideration if you have carpets you'd like the robot vacuum to avoid mopping. All of these models do require Wi-Fi for operation. If you don't have Wi-Fi in your house, you can tether two mobile phones. The steps are fairly cumbersome but it is possible. I've linked to a video in the description that can help you with that. Many of these models allow you to manually control the robot using the app. But if you want an actual remote to turn on or off the robot vacuum, instead of using the app, only iLife A11 and the Mecturing S9 Pro offer this. This is fairly useful if you have seniors in the house and you want them to use a robot vacuum. The height of the robot vacuum is another important factor you have to consider. In general, 4 inches is the standard height of a leg in the sofa. Sometimes it can be lower as well. Most robot vacuums with LiDAR are close to 3.7 or 3.8 inches. It can go under most of these sofas but can miss in some places where the sofa has sunk in. So lower the height the better. Realme, Samsung JetBot Plus and 360 S9 have a height of above 3.9 inches. So it can be a concern going under sofas. One thing to keep in mind is some of the parts like the side brush, rollers, filter in the bin need replacement on a regular basis. It is important to buy a brand that has these parts available. From what I've seen, spares for Realme e and ED are not easily available. Ecovac, Xiaomi and Biomi are available either from the brand or from third party sellers. And iRobot, iLife and Mecturing are easily available from the brand itself. All the models compared except iRobot offer a 1 year warranty. iRobot offers a 2 year warranty but only 1 year on the battery. Prices range from 17,000 to almost 1,30,000. I don't believe it's worth paying 1,30,000 for a robot vacuum in today's day as there are so many good models at a lower price point. So follow along for my recommendations. Service for most robot vacuums is from a few service centers in tier 1 cities. I always recommend to contact the service team before purchase to check for service in your area. Now let's get to my recommendations for the best robot vacuums in India in 2023. My first recommendation or recommendations at a budget price point is either the Viomi SE or the MI Robot Vacuum Moppy. This continues from my recommendation from last year as they are still very relevant today at a budget price. They are ideal for homes up to 2000 square feet for a single run. Viomi SE only has one bin which is a combo bin for vacuuming and mopping. So if you like me do vacuuming more often than mopping, you may prefer the MI Robot Vacuum Mop B or you can get an extra bin for the Viomi SE for vacuuming only. Amongst the newer models, a lot of you also asked me a comparison between Xiaomi Robot Vacuum Mop Pro 2 and the Ecovacs N8. Both of these are great but between the two I will select the Xiaomi Robot Vacuum Mop Pro 2 which is my second recommendation. It has a better capacity from a battery point of view, better suction power and a better bin size too. However, if you have carpets in your house and do need to set up no mop zone, or in the future if you plan to add a cleaning dock, then you can consider the Ecovax N8. And lastly, if you're looking for a robot vacuum cleaner with an auto cleaning dock, which I find very useful, then I would recommend the Viomi Alpha S9 if you're looking for both sweeping and mopping. At a price of about 40,000, it has a 5200 mAh battery with a 2700 PA suction power. It can save 5 maps has lidar based navigation and a 3 litre bin that can save dust up to 30 days, sometimes longer. If you have carpets at home and want to set no mop zones and are looking for a robot vacuum cleaner with an auto cleaning dock, then I recommend the Prosenic M8 Pro. At a price of about 50,000, it has a higher suction power of 3000 PA but a lower battery capacity of 3200 mAh compared to the Viomi Alpha S9. You can set no mob zones, which is a boon if you have carpets in your house. If you like this video, you might want to watch this video next. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.